In one of my recent videos, somebody asked me what is the right price range to you know start buying this crypto, and I responded to them saying that you know it's very difficult to tell you a exact price range, right? I, I can't tell you uh, within a five hundred uh, dollar range probably, or or you know within some small small margin that hey you can buy it at this range because it's the market is complicated, it doesn't work like that, and it got me thinking, right? Uh, people use a lot of strategies to avoid something like this right to get somewhere close to the best timing of uh, buying a crypto and selling it and one of those strategies is called uh, dca right dollar cost averaging uh, i went over it and i thought is like is that great or what and uh, after spending some time i realized not not too too great and i came up with something else called staggered dca right uh, maybe this exists i don't know but it's just my version of it uh, which i thought i'll walk you guys through in this video so we'll start with what exactly is a DCA, and we'll see what MicroStrategy, one of the you know one of the largest holders of Bitcoin, uh, with their DCAing. Let's see what is the result of them DCAing. Then I'll I'll walk you through what exactly is staggered DCAing, and how you can really benefit from uh, doing something like that. Right. So let's begin with this. What exactly is DCA? Right. Now DCA stands for uh, Dollar Cost Averaging. Right, dollar cost averaging is a way for people to buy crypto or stock at regular intervals because uh, everybody knows timing the market is simply not possible. Right, the market is cyclical; it goes down and it goes up and comes down again. And the best time, of course, to buy is when it is down, and the best time to sell is when it is up. But the problem is we don't know when is you know when is it going to be down when is it going to be up. It's very difficult to predict that. So what people do is buy every single month or every single week, uh, or every three months or whatever frequency, and it's a very simple technique. So you bought let's say if you had bought Bitcoin this entire year you would have got it at all kinds of prices, from like sixteen thousand all the way to maybe thirty thousand. So you have like a range at which you bought a price and the average that you bought it at would probably be low and hence you might benefit in the long run. It's a very simple technique, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people try to do DCA. Right, and one thing that you must remember: it is always used for a long-term investment. Right, you want to grow your wealth in the long run, then this is one of those strategies. I'll walk you guys through that with a simple example. Right now, this is uh, let's say you bought the S&P 500 index. Right, ten months you paid, uh, you sort of uh, bought it at fifty dollars every month. And buying fifty dollars every month meant that you got different quantum of shares every month because the uh, uh, the price of the uh, index fund has changed over a period of time. However, overall, you invested five hundred dollars, but uh, you know your investment is worth about five hundred thirty-six. You got that thirty-six dollar benefit because you bought it at regular intervals, and there were times when it was less, there were times when it was higher, but you averaged all that out. And in the long run, the market is going up, and hence you benefited. Broadly, this is what's happening, right? However, right, does it work for crypto? Well, let's see. Right, there is this company called MicroStrategy, right? Now, what is MicroStrategy? MicroStrategy is a uh, is actually not related to crypto in any way, but what they have been doing is uh, that they are DCAing Bitcoin. They have been buying Bitcoin and a lot of Bitcoin, and in fact, they are one of the largest holders of Bitcoin. They hold own something like one lakh, so one hundred and thirty thousand. Bitcoin as of September twenty uh, September twentieth uh, twenty twenty two as of like let's say two months back, right? And the average purchase price is something like thirty thousand dollars, and they spent almost four billion dollars buying all this, right? If you look at their purchase history, that's a lot of Bitcoin that they bought. Right? Uh, let me walk you through a sheet that I put together. So uh, this is the purchase history of MicroStrategy since uh, uh, since the time they started, which is somewhere in twenty uh, twenty. They bought about twenty-one thousand Bitcoin at two fifty million dollars uh, at a cost of eleven thousand per Bitcoin, right? And they continued to buy uh, till as late as uh, September of this year. And if you look at the variance of price, right? They bought it at let's say eleven thousand a Bitcoin to even as much as fifty-nine thousand a Bitcoin. Right? But is it really worth it, right? You bought it at whatever intervals, but the average that you got it is something like twenty-eight thousand or thirty thousand dollars. You're not you know, sort of enormous return. Is there a way to do it? Because you just you know bought it like this, right? These are all the price points at which um, MicroStrategy bought, it, and that's a lot of price points. 
uh, th- this involves no thinking no uh, you know it's a very simple technique right Can, uh, anybody could do this why would micro strategy do something like this is there a better way there is a better way right and I'll, I'll walk you through what that better way is right? and i'll uh, i'm calling it staggered dca uh, because it's a little different it's dca but you're going to stagger it in a way right so let's understand what that is and before that let's understand some ground reality the aim here is to maximize returns but you want to of course if you look at micro strategy they have maximized their returns compared to the market today they're probably at 50% or uh, you know nearly more than that higher but can we do more yes we can the aim is to maximize returns right investing is more about understanding the sentiment than anything else right that's the first thing that you need to keep in mind right and there are three things that you should like really digest right one is that you can never ever time the market correctly understand this that it is impossible to time the market the second thing is that regular dca simply isn't worth it right because we just saw it right uh, if you are a big enough fine but once you move ahead i think you should not be doing regular dca and investors are very extreme in their strategy right probably people invest like once you know somebody is like hey this bitcoin thing seems exciting let me put in some 20000 dollars they buy it today and then they don't buy anything for the next 3 years I, or there are people who invest every month like $1000 every single month regardless of what the price is this is extreme strategies and this will give you optimal results not extraordinary results that's where i think staggered dca really makes sense now what is staggered dca staggered dca is investing regular amounts only during a bear market right as simple as that in a very simple statement staggered dca is investing regular amounts of money only during a bear market so you don't invest in all times as simple as it may sound this is very difficult because people have no control over their money right? it is very difficult to tell yourself not to invest especially when you're reading uh, maybe a news article that says hey is this crypto went up 5x since yesterday this crypto is up 1000% this year and it's very difficult to resist that temptation to go and put your money there but that's where people really fail and that's how their returns are diminished staggered dca is a way to avoid that so the urge to invest during a rising tide should be controlled right that's like literally the first thing that you should do uh, and how do you invest based on staggered dca first one is spot the bear market and anchor uh, you know and use btc as an anchor how do you spot a bear market if you look at bitcoin price right now this is the historical bitcoin price for more than 10 years uh, now let me pull that up Right. This is yeah. While that loads, this is the historical Bitcoin price of yeah for more than ten years. And if you see this this straight line here, it looks like a straight line, but it's not. Right, actually there is a there is a huge uh, you know market up and down in this region here, which I will zoom in right now and look something like this. You know, it looks like a straight line ten years later, but can you believe it actually looks like this? Right. and this is what has repeated many times and uh, this is true for almost anything like right? stocks whatever so it's always cyclical in nature now here's an easy way first one is anchor btc because most of the crypto market is anchored on btc most of the crypto prices are very cor- highly correlated to bitcoin so understand that the market will go up and down like this this is our baseline assumption um so when do you how do you spot a bear market now the first thing is look at something called the fear and greed index right know when there is extreme fear or there is fear in the market right that's a good time to buy that's the first thing right validate that there is fear in the market then the second thing that you should do is check if the price of bitcoin is less than 50% of its all time high of its previous all time high right so what was the price of bitcoin um, during its previous all time high it was $69000 for us right now um uh, in the next bull run of course it might go up much higher uh, and what crashes all time high might be different but as of now the most uh, previous all time high was like $69000 are we less than 50% from there yes we are we are in fact 75% down from the all time high now these are good times to buy right now that it is less than 50% of its bitcoin all time high then what you can actually do is let me like zoom into the previous bull run here it is 
Now, the previous one during Jan of uh, 2018, I guess, it touched about $20,000, right? almost close to $20,000. What is the 50% of that? 50% of that is $10,000. Anything less than $10,000 is a good time to buy, right? So had you, so that means your, your buying spree would have probably started somewhere in March. Um, you know, let's say you invested $1,000, so you in March you bought at $9,000, then in May you bought at $8,000, and so on. You kept buying, you kept buying every month regularly. Uh, 3,500 you got enormous uh, amount of Bitcoin accumulated at low prices and if it grows beyond that 50% from its all time like let's say it reached 11,000 or or 10,000 across 10,000 in July I wouldn't buy at that point of time so any month that it crosses that 50% of the threshold from its previous all time high I wouldn't buy right then what essentially happened is you bought in, in this entire range which was low priced right compare that to micro strategy they would have bought at even at 20,000, they would have bought it at 17,000 and they would have bought it at 10,000 or they would have even bought it at 3,000, right? That's exactly what they did and, uh, you know, in, of course, the later uh, part of the market and that's why their returns are probably lesser. Here, because what you have done is essentially bought everything less than $10,000 and you have not bought at a, at a much higher price, you have a higher chance of uh, uh, maximizing the returns and I would say sell when the price is maybe 1.5x of the previous all-time high you can start selling at that point of time uh, because it is important to buy it is also important to sell otherwise you don't make money it's always unrealized gain sitting in your uh, sitting on your paper so that's something that you need to understand if you have to sell sell when it's more than 1.5x because you don't know when the next uh, you know you need to maximize your cash hold on to cash yes bitcoin touched seventy thousand dollars hold your cash it will crash after that and that's when you swoop in and start buying again Right. If this is timed properly, you could be seeing enormous returns, right? Maximizing returns could, could be like uh, going through the roof for you. This requires enormous discipline, right? So let to, just to compare what's MicroStrategy's DCA versus Wave Staggered DCA, it's very simple, right? First, they do irregular purchases, right? They just buy, keep buying, right? Here it is staggered. By staggered, we mean there is a rule, only less than 50% buy at that point of time. Irregular amounts here it is fixed amounts, and then invest during both bull and bear markets. Here investing is only during a bear market, right? and that's how I feel that you can really maximize your returns. And this concept is what I would like to call as staggered DCA. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about it, and welcome to the Wave Crypto Club. Stay tuned for more such amazing videos.